Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm Ahmad Abdul-Sudin bin Razak and I'm here to summarize what our term paper is about the photography So we begin with the introduction of photography So the photography it is an art of creating an image and like from like and electromagnetic radiation So the word photography is set from the concept of two words which photo which means like in ancient Greek and graphe which means the line of drawing So the other also claim that the word photography, photography in French, in French note over the French painter that describe um, it or oh, a paint. So historically, photography plays big role in our human life because the photography itself, when we look the other back of creating, is of some magic. Like we can capture the real life event into the time capsule. So the our grandparent, our grandchild can see what our today is, because sometimes the photographer or people capture a photo to express themselves. Because picture describe more than thousand of words, yeah. So prior to the first, prior to the history of photography, so the first tool to capture a photo, the camera, was created in ancient China, but it became a debate topic, like hot topic in the ancient Greek. In the fourth and fifth century before Christ, um, the Greek name the Camera Obscura by the Greek philosopher Aristotle and the Eleusid described behind the describe the physics and geometrically object behind the camera. So the grace about it, so they create they create the they create the camera. But then when technology evolve, it evolve, evolve. The Arab physicists, the Ibn Al Haytham. Reinvented the camera in 1040 to to improve the flaw of the camera to include the pinhole on the camera to give a better light throughout the camera. So later on, the first permanent image was produced in 1820 by the French inventor. Um, so the photo was well known as the Legras, known as view from the window of Legras to be all the surviving photo because back then the photo was temporary it's like when you give a light through then the photo but then you stop the light there's nothing so the first permanent photo like nowadays the digital image so use an x-ray and infrared to an opaque object to give a permanent minute so the opaque object is consists from the bitumen some iron some copper some nickel to be the surface to the mapping To capture a permanent image, so now this camera has evolved to many like electronic, electronic simulation, optical image simulation to give ability to capture the light into a light sensitive surface in the camera. So the light itself will be controlled by the lens on how much the light will be will be inside the camera to so give a brighter image, contra better exposure and as RGB. So the camera itself has tried many forms in this LR, mirrorless camera, and nowadays the hot topic will become debatable. Like telephone camera that become so so much pixel in it, hundred egg, sixty four, forty megapixel. So the idea of photography is to give a view a natural feeling that give emotion that when people see the photo they give emotion of sad, happy, strong emotion like angry. Although the photo cannot speak, I don't move. We give us the ability to tell a story, a moment that sometimes could be not described by the word itself, but only to hear. We don't need to hear, but only to see. So in the recent world, photography nowadays, the, so the first one I want to speak the application of photography nowadays in the police is the forensic department. Okay, before the forensic department was created. When we have to judge the people, we have to create a a situation where you have the evidence, we have the witness. So these two, these two type of evidence is like a flaw when the witness can be lie. So when come to the photography, the photo and real life video can be a, like a vital piece of information to judge a people in the to to illustrate the forensic department like what happened on the crime, like. The criminal 
what they do, when they do, by the trace of evidence that they left, and then we capture a photo to become an evidence for the lung loss, like what twenty years, thirty years, become the the tool to judge people of an icon. So the next when ah uh, the next thing I I want to say that photography is a play a strong evidence in the court to judge a people to give a judicial authorities to give a deep 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 and strong heavy charge like a game changer like a video or photo will be game changer to the criminal will be dropped by certain certain heavy charge like death or punishment so the later on. So the strong event that I will describe in this film, ah, uh, that dated back in 1945 when the Nazi world Germany was over. So the Nazi extremists run because they lost. But then people want to judge, want to this criminal, this war criminal to be in the in some punishment, heavy punishment. So before the Nazi know they lost, they they destroy all the evidence. So the evidence itself cannot be, cannot like find anymore. So people that war will capture an image over the war over the criminal, like out of Eichmann over his mad brutality to the people. So it become a lawsuit, a feel a lawsuit against them with the help of photo. So many Nazi Germany detectives will be judged and will be punished over their crime, even though it happened a long time ago because of the photo. And the video will last long. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, my name is Muhammad Fikri bin Ismail, and I'm a teammate of uh, Hafid Muhammad Bisudin. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the uh, body of my uh, of our term paper and also the conclusion. Photography not only just contribute in the crime scenes, but it also contains power in developing strong emotions to those who are viewing. For example, when people are scrolling through the Instagrams and uh, Facebook or any social media, or they going through their old pictures, uh, such as on the film or anything uh, related related to it, so they will be, uh, they will have some sorts of emotions, uh, either sad, uh, happy, or, or it doesn't matter anything that related to uh, emotions. In this body, we put the concern to on the. Uh, emotions, uh, which uh, photography proves, it proves that photography really, really have emotions, not just a sort of picture. So in this uh, body, we use uh, example of the Petronas company that uses uh, videos, which also include in the photography scenes. Uh, they use uh, video to create emotions, uh, especially when it comes to special occasions such as Hari Raya Idul Fitri. And then that for the next body, I also uh, want to tell that I want to tell that um, photography has contributed contributed a lot to the world's economy, communication because um, as we can see, there are some messages or some photos uh, which have act in it or have some events happening in it. Uh, there are messages that involves in the photos, which make the photos uh, becomes uh, some sort of uh, communication communication tools or mediums uh, for people to understand what kind of messages that they want to uh, send, what they want people to hear, what they want people to understand. So uh, for this for this body, uh, which is the communication. Uh, uh, we took the quotes from Ivan Pen, uh, uh, as we can see here. Okay, so these quotes uh, only have the read writer's name, but not year of publish. Uh, from what we got from our references, the way we write these quotes uh, is based on how we learn it in the class. So since there is no year of publish, we only read uh, writers. So we only write the writers. Okay, so for the next, uh, photography, photography also helps us to understand more about uh, 
global events that are happening around us uh, such as our war or anything or also poor life of other people from other country like Africa, Palestine or have any war happenings in those countries like Liberia and also Palestine okay, so yeah photography really helps a lot in this uh, so in this uh, body we really put the concern to the examples uh, we really push the uh, reader to understand the our points by putting more and more examples but we also have uh, very much of explanation in here okay so as for the conclusion uh, as you can see here we conclude that uh, photography really does change the world so uh, we agree and we see in the last paragraph which is the conclusion we conclude that photography really changes the world so uh, there is no doubt that photography has changed the world as you can see here uh, and we also for the last paragraph we quoted a uh, quote from Bernice Abbott uh, where he said uh, imagine a world without photography one could only imagine okay so this quote uh, don't have year of publish publishment too so we only write the writer's name so that's how we uh, I can explain about our term paper and last but not least we also uh, put our work cited in the last pages last page uh, there are 10 references that we look on from the website so these citations uh, we learned from the my line, uh, through those videos in my lines for the citation so that, that's all from our group thank you